Hi there, it's uh, Roy Breton here from the United Kingdom, sometimes known as the Christian Internet Marketer. I've just written a, a quick blog post called Keep It Simple, a few things every business website must have. Sometimes I think we definitely overcomplicate things and um, I've written this blog post to try and help you keep things simple. If we think about something too much, it can seem highly complicated, but I'm just going to run you through a few headings I've written. Um, I've got a, an article here about building a website in 30 seconds. You can literally put a website up in 30 seconds. And yes, I know there is more to more to than just putting it up. We have to add content. We have to do things, but it is so much quicker than what it was uh, 12 years ago when I first started. It cost a fortune to have a website put up, but now so easy. Um, your About Me page, that's one of the most important things you can write about. You can share your experience, you can get a good picture or a video of yourself and uh, just just share a bit of your life with people. Not, not everything but what, what, the things that are appropriate. Um, your domain name, very important although maybe not quite as important as it was a few years ago. Um, a domain name um, keep it keep it simple just get straight to the point like for example this website is called the Christian internet marketer.com uh, very simple I'm a born-again Christian I have a faith in God and I work online and I have an offline business too actually but just keep it simple get, get it straight to the point what I see people doing is putting hyphens and abbreviating their domain name I don't really don't recommend doing that because otherwise your competition will find you um, or not your competition will find you people will go onto your comp competitors website so uh, just keep it simple uh, clear navigation that's another thing we all like to go to websites that are clear to navigate um, simple drop-down menu I think is best and um, yeah, look around before you build your website. Find websites that you like and are simple to navigate. Uh, can your contact page be found? I go to many websites and I can't find a contact page. Make it easy to pay, easy to be found. Put your social, me social media links on and all in one place and people can contact you easily. And another one is Google My Business. Um, I've Googled my business from my offline business. R really important. It uh, really helps to bring traffic in. I add photographs. People add reviews. And uh, it's a good way of being found. As we know that uh, Google, there's a lot of power in being on Google. Uh, testimonials, kind of the same as reviews. But it's good to have testimonials on your actual website if you can. Um, Make sure you have a call to action, make it clear what you're offering and um, show your experience in a good way. Uh, I've written here a little bit about an autoresponder. An autoresponder is something that collects people's email addresses and this can be used, for example, if you are sending out a monthly newsletter or a course, um, maybe it's like a, a 10 part course you're sending out, you can send these um, emails out daily, hourly, weekly, w whatever, but a great tool and um, you can use your email list to keep people informed about new products, new blog posts, etc. So well worth uh, having. I actually use the Aweber autoresponder. Uh, there are other ones, get a response, but they're, they're probably the two most popular ones. Uh, hosting. Um, hosting is important. And this particular website is on Amazon hosting. I've also got some other hosting. You can see the link here. And uh, important to have good, reliable hosting. Hosting where you can speak to someone 24 hours a day if you have a problem. Always very important. So um, if your website grows rapidly, then you'll probably need a better quality hosting rather than the shared server. But uh, that's uh, definitely something you need if you're getting a lot of traffic. And then SEO, something again that can be overcomplicated. Don't overcomplicate it. Sometimes I think we're better just to keep writing, writing good quality content, not worry too much about uh, 
uh, what we're writing. Now, some people wouldn't agree with me, but um, this is uh, my take on it. Um, write quality content and you will be found in Google. And uh, something else I've put here, fresh content and blogging. Uh, add fr fresh content to your website on a regular basis. I um, I try and blog every, every day. It doesn't always happen as I have several websites. But it, I always think blogging is a bit like a shop front. You don't keep your shop front the same day after day. You change it to attract people. This is the same with your websites. Keep, keep adding things, add new content, add more services. Uh, write a blog about what you do and um, people will find you and if your articles are informative they will read them and finally a people friendly website make it friendly uh, don't be abrupt uh, be welcome and make the text stand out clearly and um, avoid flashing pictures and moving text because to me this can be a bit off-putting um, you can take people away from what they're actually meant to be looking at. I'm sure I could add more to this. Um, if you'd like to comment below, feel free to. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.